this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the secret to the dime normal defense to be able to get this blitz to consistently come in no matter what your opponent is doing. Now, if you want to get my full dime normal defensive ebook, it is going to be available by becoming a member of our school.com community page. You can sign up for that at the link in the description. The cool part about the school.com community is not only you're going to be able to ask any Madden questions or college football questions that you want, as the site is going to support both Madden and College Football 25. But it's also where you get access to all of my pro tips, exclusive ebooks, as well as just direct access to be able to improve your Madden or college football game. So if you want to sign up for that, it's only $10. The link's going to be down in the description below if you want to check it out. And again, you get access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates to that stuff as the year goes on, as long as your membership is active. Now, we're going to be talking today about Dime Normal. I'm going to put a little twist on Dime Normal because this little twist is going to make this defense a thousand times better for you. What you're actually going to do with this is you're going to go ahead and turn your auto flip defensive play call off, and then you can put your zone coverage on match. What we're then going to do is in our dime normal defense, we are going to put our fastest pass rushers in these two positions right here. For the Bills, that's going to be Leonard Floyd, and that is going to be Greg Roussau, or however you say that name. And then, really, that's pretty much how we're going to set this up. If you wanted to put Von Miller over there, you could certainly put him at the defensive tackle position. Okay, what makes Dime really underrated is it's really good against the run and you get two slot corners, which a lot of people sleep on the importance of. It's, it's a, in my opinion, if you can get a good Dime normal blitz, it becomes instantly better than 6-1 just because of the slot corners and you can still do a lot of the same principles. So how are we going to do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the Dime Blitz 3, but we're going to flip this play. We're going to flip it every single time and we want it to be on this left side. What we're going to do to set the blitz up is we're just going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line to the right. And then this is really important with your user. You're going to go and blitz your user. And as you see how the game kind of wants you to stand in this right side gap, what we're going to do is we're going to stand kind of right here and we're going to pass commit. And what you're going to see is this is going to create a disengage where we're going to be able to get pretty much a gap pressure off of the right edge. Now, another really cool way to run the defense would be to use a QB, utilize a QB contain. I think that's an underrated little adjustment because that will make the blitz angles a little bit wider and oftentimes this disengage can come in a little bit better. The trick with the disengage that you need to understand is you wanna be holding left trigger with your user and you wanna be kind of pulling the center to the right side of the screen. So you see how we're kind of dragging him to the right side of the screen and then we're getting this kind of pop off disengage pretty consistently at the opponent. Now, another thing that you can do with this defense is you can actually, if you wanted to, you could actually stand a little bit more closer to the center. And as you see, this oftentimes is going to kind of change a little bit of the pickup. Now, what a lot of people like to do whenever they are um, kind of blitzing this or they're, they're trying to block this, I apologize, is they will essentially block their running back. OK, now, while this is a pretty good adjustment, there are some disadvantages to doing this, and it happens to deal with kind of where your user's at here. But again, you're just trying to pull that center out and you see how this kind of pushes the pocket up super in the A gap. That's the underrated element of the entire defense. The pocket is going to collapse pretty much every single time, especially if you contain because you still have the edge loop angles. Uh, but you see how this gets a super deep pass rush into the A gap. OK, now, as far as uh, utilizing this against a multitude of formations, I'm going to get into using it against trips here in just a second. And again, a lot of times what I like to do is I like to simply just stand here to the right side, kind of pull the center to the right. You see we get that pop off, uh, disengage pretty much every single time. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about tight slots or trip side in, some of the other formations that you need to be prepared to be able to face. So let's say that you're playing someone and they're running the tight slots halfback weak on you and you're in the dime blitz three. You're going to notice here that this defense pretty much looks almost identical uh, to what it looked like in bunch even though the formational strength is to the other side now. And you'll see that this A gap, this left side A gap is the tender spot of the blitz. It's the best way to blitz out of dime consistently. And if you wanted to crash inside, uh, you can be my guest. You can crash inside if you want. Uh, crash inside and it can kind of get, see how it gets that DT a little bit more, a little bit more of an A gap type blitz angle if you crash inside. The other thing that's kind of unique about the crash inside that I didn't get to is if you blitz your user, you see how it's gonna kind of create a disengage angle here to the right. So kind of an underrated deal. As you see there, we get that A gap pressure super quick at the opponent. Now the other thing here that I did wanna showcase is what happens if they block 
a running back. If they block a running back, oftentimes, as you see, we get double A gap pressure. Or did I did I just block, I don't think I blocked running back actually. That time we actually just randomly got double A gap pressure, which is kind of crazy. So let's go ahead and block the running back here. And let me uh, let me actually go ahead and block him. Sometimes this still can come in against a blocked running back. As you see, though, you you can get picked up. But I will say the, the biggest tip I can give you about blitzing in Madden 24 is, is what we're talking about right here. This These three guys to the left, that's the key to blitzing, 100%. You want to make them respect your three. So what I like to do here is just simply cloud and deep half. As you can see here, we're, we're, we're actually pinching and crashing down, and our user is able to kind of basically take the tackle. So you see – Super fast, almost get double A gap again. You see how good this can be. Now, let's talk about if they block a tight end because some people are starting to figure out that blocking your running back is not always the best strategy, and they're starting to block the tight end. If they block the tight end, you see that A gap is going to be pretty good, pretty effective. They're pretty much going to have to block a running back to consistently pick this up. Now, this is also a really good blitz, and this is why I like this defense. This is why I'm starting to run this defense a ton. The reason this defense is super, super good is due to its ability to be able to adjust to spread sets, whereas 6-1 cannot really do that. So let's say that you're playing, uh, you're running your dime defense, and you see that they're running a spread formation or a trips tight end. All you're going to do is you're going to base align this, or whoops, I'm sorry, I messed up, uh, pinch your defense, and you see how this guy is going to be over here on this on this um, left side. So what I like to do when I run this is I'm going to man align and press, especially against trips tight end. So when we man line and press, as you can see, it kind of changes the, the adjustments a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the closer guy blitzing. This is the important piece of information that you need to know. So you see here we got this guy on the right blitzing. And then over here, we can do, you know, kind of a, an adjustment like so. So we're still able to kind of adjust to the trip set. And as you see, we're going to get that A gap pressure pretty much every single time. So this defense, and, and the other cool part about this that I didn't get to just yet is let's say you're playing somebody that's running a significant amount of trips tied in, right? They're running a lot of trips type stuff. Then what you can do is you can go into your coaching adjustments, turn this on man align, and you're going to come out in the play uh, cover three buzz press, but you're going to flip it so that it keeps the consistency. See here, it's a little bit better alignment wise for us, but we're still able to get that standard kind of pressure concept. And then I just like to play basically cover two to the trip side, to the tight end side and cover three to the, to the wide side. This is really good because you see here, we get that pop off disengage and this blitz is going to give your opponent fits. If you want to get my entire Dime Normal defensive ebook, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description below. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to everything that I do out of this defense, as well as all of my other Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. And we're going to be dropping full offensive and defensive ebooks for uh, NCAA or college football. So if you want to sign up for that, I think it's a great deal. For just 10 bucks. you're going to be able to basically make sure that you're always running essentially the best stuff possible on both college football and Madden. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for that, the link is down below.